the Wyoming senator uh, joins us right now, Cynthia Lemus, on the significance of this. Senator, great to have you. Uh, where are you on this whole TikTok thing? Uh, uh, ban them, uh, punish them, you know, ratchet them down to size, what? Well, as you know, I'm a big advocate for states' rights, and I want to compliment Governor Gianforte of Montana uh, for working with his legislature to be among the first states to ban TikTok. I had previously taken a wait-and-see attitude, but as you know, Neil, there's been a lawsuit filed in San Francisco this week by a former executive that says that the Chinese Communist Party uh, has a place at the table uh, at the parent company of TikTok and that they are harvesting information uh, from uh, U.S. Uh, TikTok users. I think this is really dangerous. The CCP is a propaganda machine uh, and their growing influence around the world uh, makes it something that we need to uh, take a pause on. So I support Governor Jim Forte's actions. All right, you're talking about the Chinese Communist Party and you're right, I mean, there's a lot of the thoughts that the Chinese government is sort of pulling the strings, or at least the parent company is through uh, the Chinese government. Uh, so we'll see if other states follow through on that. If I could just pivot a little bit, Senator, get your thoughts right now on the debt negotiations and how you think they're going. Well, it seems like they're uh, going at a snail's pace. I assume that that's because once a deal is arrived at, we will be up against uh, a hard stop on the debt ceiling and whatever agreement that the president and uh, the speaker come to will have to be jammed through Congress very quickly. Uh, I'm hopeful that they'll keep the RAINS Act on the table, uh, which is something that prevents very high dollar uh, executive branch decrees from taking effect without congressional oversight. Uh, I'm also hoping that they'll keep some of the egregious uh, permitting obstacles around the country on the table. Definitely I want them to keep the 2022 spending levels as part of this discussion. Neil, seven out of the last 10 debt ceiling deals have included some reforms, and this one needs to as well. All right, so we'll see what happens on that front. Uh, we're also learning um, that a lot is going on in your party and the presidential contest are preparing for 2024. We're told that Ron DeSantis, as soon as next week, could announce his presidential run. I know you're, you're, you're quite the supporter of his. Is that still the case? Although I'm not going to endorse in this race, okay. I'm very much look in the primary. Um, I'm very much looking forward to seeing Ron DeSantis enter the race because he brings executive experience. He brings the experience of working with uh, one of our largest states and its legislature to address issues that the American people care about. Freedom during COVID, parental rights in education. Uh, and because he's just so laser focused on issues that matter to the American people, I think his involvement in this race is going to be significant. Uh, he and I were friends in the U.S. House before he became governor. Uh, we continue to be friends. And I'm actually, I, I think he's just going to bring so much to the table uh, in this Republican primary. Donald Trump doesn't seem to flip over him, uh, even as a nickname for him, uh, Ron DeSanctimonious. I don't know what that means, but uh, it's going to be nasty. What do you think of that? Yes. Well, Ron DeSantis is not sanctimonious. He is uh, just a dedicated, solid leader. Um, one of the things that have, people have said about Ron is he's not very flashy. Uh, and well, I my think Donald Trump is, went so far as to say he needs a personality transplant. As far as I know, that's impossible to get. I, I've been looking for one myself. But your thoughts? Everybody next to Donald Trump uh, looks pretty uh, uh, dull and boring. I, I think we're ready for a dull dose of dull, boring, responsible, careful, uh, considered uh, leadership. Hmm. Uh, and so uh, I, I'm ready for boring. All right. Well, I built a career on it, Senator, so we'll see what happens. It's always good chatting with you. I was ping-ponging there, but I wanted to talk to you about a lot of those major news-making developments. Cynthia Lewis of uh, Wyoming.